Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. Crispy, kind of like the weather that we're having. Ew. It's crisp. You get outside and you're like... <laughs> it's not even lungs. crisp, it's just yucky snow. That's true. I guess crisp be more in January or February. Yeah, when you can't breathe. I gotta take these things out. Hold on. Ew, I saw your spit. Good. <laughs> I gotta take the top one out. He actually yelled at me today. I went for my, not really? yelled at me, but I went for my appointment. He said, the bottom ones look great, but the top ones, they need just a little bit of work. Make sure you bite on them. I'm like, yeah, I leave them out half the day. Do you? Well, cool, because I speak on so many calls or when we're doing this that yeah. I just. <laughs> 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 I mean, everyone, I've announced it 5,000 times yeah. here and at work. So everyone yeah. knows and everyone's been through it, but. Yeah. Or I should say most have been through it, so they should know that that's why I sound like this. <laughs> but it drives me crazy. I don't even notice when you're wearing them. Oh, good. Yeah, they're clear, so yeah. that's nice. But yeah. So he said, I really need to keep them on the top a little bit more. And you're like, I can't bite because I get locked jaw. Yes. Okay, so those that have had Invisalign or braces, you will get this. So when I wear my Invisalign, and I'm not doing anything, but you know, I can drink water with it or something, they're fine. I can open my mouth, everything's fine. When I take them out and I go to eat, like let's say off a fork or yeah. a spoon, yeah. my mouth does not open. <laughs> so what he explained was, and I told him, I said, I'm pretty sure it's just the left side. That's where the pain is. He said that with your jaw, you have like a, some kind of muscle or a bone over over the jaw and so when I go to like bite it moves forward and blocks me from opening ah. and he said so we'll put up with it for the next 11 weeks yeah and then it should go back and relax right. once you're done wearing the Invisalign because he has a feeling I'm clenching them oh clenching and then I also um grind my teeth at night oh so he said that it's probably just like your jaws like just angry because you have yeah. these you know you're moving everything and you're wearing them and you're you know you're trying to clench down on your regular teeth and these Invisaligns are stopping them so there we go we have like the he answer says your jaw is angry like it's, it's, it's angry it's like yeah it's like <laughs> 39 years of being like this. Why are you trying to switch it around now? But honestly, they, I mean, they feel great. Yeah. You know, they're like, they're getting there. The bottom I ones I have about, I have about 11 more weeks. And then he said there, he did ask for six weeks after that, probably because he wants me to pay more. And also because, <laughs> <laughs> um, just in case to see like what the, what the bite looks yeah. like and stuff. So he just wanted to get the extra weeks in there. So you're just going to be like perfect after this. Well, and then I got Botox last Thursday. I know. I, now I just got to work on like the wrinkles around the Johnny eyes. Johnny and Eric were like. Meredith gets Botox? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I'm like, she's got it for a while now. And Eric's like, damn, that's why she always like looks so oh, good. Oh, Eric is, he's a I sweetheart. Know. I, I just want, I, you know what? I just want him to follow me around all day and tell yeah, me great things. Because that's what he, he would. He yeah. is so kind. Yeah. He is just so so sweet. Yeah. And I was like, she'd look good without it too. And he's like, oh, definitely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop it. Anyways. Less about me, more about you. Let's hit on Meredith. How today. was your weekend? It was wonderful. And I spent How it with yours? you. Yes. <laughs> Saturday, so much fun. That was a lot of we fun. We surprised Bet's yeah. bestie. Yes. yes. Her cousin came. Yes. And surprised her as that well. That was a lot of fun. Yep. I was the Which DG, we never so met. I was boring. She's like one of our biggest fans, and we never got to meet her. Yes. So it was great to meet her. She actually said that she came to my house once, so I may have seen her. Oh. Her, she brought her daughter to get yes. her makeup done by yes. Julia. Yeah. Yeah, she's like, I came to your house before. I'm like, oh, I hope it was yeah. clean. Yeah, right. So that's, that's what you always think. You always talk about like, oh, sorry about the mess, and I'm like, where? You know, that's funny that you say that. Where's the mess? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk about top chores that people hate doing. I hate all of them because we have Thanksgiving coming up. Yeah, some people they probably want to clean their whole house. They yeah. have company come. Some people don't care, which is totally fine. Yeah, I wish I cared less. I'm always doing some chores. Yeah. But yeah, I was taking a look at, number one, I was taking a look at the top 10 most boring chores because I feel like that relates to retail because you just yeah. have those, you punch in and yeah. then let's say it's a, uh, let's say tomorrow, Saturday morning, you punch in and you're going to start doing something. You're yeah. like, oh gosh, I have to do this, I have to this, clean and it. this. I have, to clean, I have it. to clean it or I have to have a meeting this way. Or what about our favorite, and- our favorite meme? If you got time to lean, you got time, <laughs> time to, to clean. clean. <laughs> if you got time to rhyme, you got time to shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's my favorite. And then I also looked up uh, top most hated household chores. Because I just, I was watching a commercial and they said, you know, laundry is the number one hated thing. And I'm like, eh, we'll see if that's true. So laundry of course I was. Laundry doesn't bother me. Laundry you bothers me. You set it and forget it. 
So laundry bothers me because I hang every single thing except for my drawers. Oh, yeah. And so it's annoying because I have to find the hanger. And for some reason, I have less hangers every week and more clothes. I don't know what happens. But I'm trying to constantly find... shopping. <laughs> don't tell my husband. <laughs> I'm just running your into money. town. I'm just running into town. Then you're sneaking bags in while <laughs> no, he's napping no, on no, the couch. No. <laughs> no, he doesn't care. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I just thought this would be super interesting because number one, Thanksgiving's coming up. A lot of people celebrate yeah. that. And they're going to be doing stuff around the house that they probably don't like. So I want to discuss that. But I also want to talk about how it relates to retail. So, so let me ask you something about Thanksgiving. Yeah. And dishes. Oh, do oh. you get out the fancy dishes or do you paper plate it? I don't do anything. My mother does it all. But I mean, while when you go to eat, because I know, don't say you don't do anything because I'm sure you help clean up after. Oh, I see. I see. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so does she have a set of fancy dishes? Yes. Like my great grandma was like, put out the good china. Yep, absolutely. Put out the water glasses. She'd be like, Casco, put ice in the glasses yep. and fill them with water, yep. you know. My mom is a fantastic entertainer. Yeah. She has like, the, well, I think you may have even seen some of my pictures of her, yeah. of the table that yeah. she sets for us. Yeah. Wine glasses, glass, glass. Yeah. You know, uh, not paper plates. Definitely like Thanksgiving style. Yeah, everything. Yeah. It's beautiful. I just use regular dishes. And I was really contemplating because I went to, um, whatchamacallit, not Sam's Club, the other one. Costco. Club. Yeah, thank you. And I saw they had like large paper china dinner plates. And oh. I was like, hmm. Yep. Should I do that for Thanksgiving? If you don't want to do the dishes. Yeah. Or because there's so many people coming over and it's going to take more than two loads in your dishwasher, go paper. Yeah. As long as they're strong. Yeah. Thanksgiving food is very heavy. Right. You know, I mean, the turkey's not that heavy, but you got stuffing, you got yeah. whatever, mac and cheese, potatoes. That's all heavy. Yeah. So I think that's well, why a I lot mean, of people might bring out the china. It is chinette. The fancy. Paper plates. Yeah, it really is. And they even have the commercials where they like go to lay down the biggest piece of lasagna, lasagna and it just falls steak. on the girl's lap. Yeah. Like, really? <laughs> really? That's my favorite. But yeah, you so know my what? mom Usually, does it all. I can talk the boys into doing some dishes on Thanksgiving, mm-hmm, so... Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, we'll just use regular plates. So we use all fancy. And what happens is my mom sets it out on um, the counter and it's kind of like a split, kind of like how mine is. Yeah. Hers is bigger though. Yeah. And so it's like, it splits the dining room and the kitchen, the counter right, does. Right. What is that called? An island. Yes. Right? Yes. So she sets or it all up. Buffet. Breakfast buffet. Sometimes. Bre- yes. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sometimes she sets it up where we're passing all the dishes around. Okay. And then she's at the end. So she'll stand up and put it on the counter. Sometimes you grab from the counter. Depends on yeah. what kind of mood she's in. If she wants to pass the beautiful plates around and yeah. you know, you get all like the sweet potatoes and potatoes and all that. Then when you're all done, you bring your plate, empty it, bring it to the sink for her, pile it all up nice, put all the utensils next to each other. Yeah. And then she will load her dishwasher. Oh. And then during that time- She's one of those. You well, can't load the dishwasher for her. Well, well she hit, she knows it exactly though, yeah. like how it can fit yeah. for our party, how many it will fit in right. the plates and everything. No, I don't even bother. I don't even yeah. touch it. No way. Don't get in That was way. like my grandma would flip out because she would like load up the dishwasher and, like, after dinner, it would just be, like, me, grandma, and great-grandma, so yeah. it wouldn't be enough to, like, run it. And then after she walked out, then great-grandma would go move everything in the dishwasher. Oh, no, we don't, no one even asked. Yeah. You know what? I'll ask her. I'm going to ask her next Thursday, hey, can I help you load that? I bet yeah. she'll say no. She'll not say no. not because, just because. She'll just say, yeah. you know, just just bring everything from the table yeah. to the counter. Bring yeah. everything, you know, so then we're helping her. And then... Then your food's all settled, and then the dessert comes out. Oh, God. So then she puts out the pies and cheesecake and all that (laughs) on the table. And then usually I'm the one that cuts everything up, passes it out to everybody, and then you bring your small plates over to her, and she fills her dishwasher. So that's the system. We've been doing it for a long time. I feel like all day long I cook and snack. Mm -hmm. And then by the time it's time for dinner, I have the dishwasher running Mm -hmm. while we're eating With all the cooking. Yeah. Yeah. And then I don't even want to eat. I just want to go like smoke a cigarette and have a drink because I'm like (laughs) full from snacking all day and like tired of looking at it by then. Mm -hmm. And then everyone's like, aren't you going to eat? Aren't you going to eat? And I'm like, nah, I think I'm just going to have another drink. You know, I do the exact same thing. Every party we have, birthday parties, graduations, whatever we have here, holidays, I do the same exact thing. I will snack all day long and then everyone will sit down with big plates. I'm like, I'm good. I just usually stand in the kitchen, make sure everything looks fresh and yep, full. 
And it's not really like a full full. It's just that weird like grazing full where right. you really don't want to eat a plate of food because well, we you kind of. Do you guys have a lot of appetizers for Thanksgiving? She usually sets out a few things. Dude, yeah. we have so much. Yeah. We have shrimp. We have cheese ball. I usually do shark coochie board. Yep. I do all sorts of shit. And then deviled eggs. And I think my mom yeah. does a minimum. I would say there's probably three. Oh, God. You know, we have like 10. Uh, yeah, probably about three. She wants everybody to eat the turkey yeah. and everything else that she's made. The crock pot of mashed is ready and yeah. she makes the real big rolls that are, mm. oh my gosh. I think they sit like overnight. Yeah, you know, like see, it's, proof them. It's yeah. fancy. It's fancy. Ooh, those are so good. Those are the best. Yeah. You know, I think for probably 15 years in a row, we forgot about the rolls. Oh, like, no kidding. we'd be eating dinner in the middle of dinner and like either great grandma or grandma would be like, where's the rolls? And we'd be ah. like, oh shit, we forgot about the rolls. <laughs> no, I don't think we've ever forgotten. I, they're like the best too. How could you forget? And my mom is such a great cook. And every time, every year she'll say something about like the roll or the, oh, I tried a new recipe. I don't know oh. if it's good. And it's flipping delicious. Thanksgiving is not the time to try new stuff though. But yeah, you, you gotta, have to understand you my mom is a very good chef. So it doesn't yeah. matter if it's a new one yeah. or not. It's going to be perfect i did if i'm thinking about something new i'll try it a few times Me too. before i have to yeah because I've i had some flops the, before the corn casserole now that yeah. i make has yeah. the jalapenos in it and mm, that's good yes yeah so one year i made um green bean casserole yeah and it was a it was one of the first years that julie and i were vegetarian and so I just was like grabbing stuff I'm like oh i've made this a hundred times no problem and i used sweetened soy milk <laughs> oh no. oh it was bad and so i was like a little bit of pepper a little bit of salt trying to like get that vanilla oh, flavoring no. out of it everyone was super polite and ate it but i'm like never do that again i warmed them all i'm like these are sweet green bean casserole <laughs> i am so sorry this is a new dessert i tried yeah i i think i just continued to i was like i was baking it forever i'm like why is this not like solidify you know what I mean it was yeah. just like watery 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 I'm like what the heck is going on I'm like oh it was the soy milk oh no yeah not good not good that's terrible so we've definitely perfected that since then because we usually bring sides yeah my mom you know obviously will take care of the turkey and she has a couple other things and she'll just say bring a side bring a dessert so yeah. usually we do like you know sweet potatoes or potatoes or we'll and usually she has white potatoes so we'll bring something else yeah. and then we'll do green bean casserole or maybe a, like another recipe that i've tried i'm always like we'll i can bring. live without the mashed potatoes i just want sweet oh. potatoes but see that's a reaction i get from and i'm like all right okay <laughs> i'll make the mashed potatoes actually if there was sweet potatoes yeah. or like baked potatoes from the oven you yeah. know you put them with the tin foil and stuff right. i'd be all right with yeah. that but man i don't know like I feel like it's I know, not Thanksgiving then, without yeah. the mashed. Then three days later, I'm like, I'm so glad we made these mashed potatoes. <laughs> these leftovers are delicious. This gravy. I was going to say, so are you are are you someone that you have your plate and you can put everything together? Yeah. Or is like, you can. So you got yeah. like maybe a turkey lay in there with a little bit of right. mashed potato on top, some yeah. corn and you some put gravy. gravy on everything. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because I know a everything. lot of people, like I've seen their plates and it's all separate, oh, yeah. which is me. That's my mom I'm too. all separate. And everyone says it goes into one place. My mom, yeah. My mom is like one of the those people that she needs to have um that hors d'oeuvre tray that has all the little compartments yes yes right 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 yeah and she'll always like make a plate and she takes very tiny bits sure so that way it doesn't run into each other yes yeah now does she will she make two trips then because of that okay okay yeah so i'm not that extreme but definitely like it's separated yeah like, I won't put it yeah, all, pile it all up. I'm not, you know, because like turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, and the sweet potatoes can all kind of touch. I won't put gravy on the sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. but then I always put a little blob. Grandma makes homemade cranberries. Oh, so I got, amazing. And I don't even really like cranberries, but her cranberries are good. Like, you have to have some, mm -hmm. you know? That goes right in the middle of everything. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do so you, you eat them little, during or is it after? Yeah, no, during. I'll eat it with a couple bites of turkey. Oh, you know? okay, okay. Yeah. And then the one year we did with leftovers, the leftover egg rolls. So you take egg roll wrappers, you put some turkey, some stuffing, some mashed potatoes, roll it up. Then you take your leftover cranberry sauce and you like put some like vinegar in it to like dilute it a little mm -hmm. bit, maybe some water too. Make that into a dipping sauce. Oh, amazing. So do you fry the yeah. egg roll or do you, okay. Yeah, so not the ninja or whatever. No. Definitely fry it with some oil. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Those are delicious. Amazing. You could dip them in gravy too if you wanted. 
So what do you call their egg, egg rolls? But what do you actually call them? Like Thanksgiving rolls then? I think you just call them leftover egg rolls. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Good shit. All right. Now that we're all hungry again. Again. We always talk about food. We love it. Wow. Okay. Did you mention what your favorite dessert was last week? Pumpkin pie. Oh, okay. All right. Pecan pie. Pecan pie. That's right. That's right. Chocolate pie. All right, so let's talk about the, the top pie. 10 most boring chores. Fast forward if you don't want to sleep through this. Just kidding. <laughs> Keep listening. So number one, according to boring. You said MadRock1025.com. So that sounds like um, a radio, radio station. station. Yeah, yeah MadRock102.5. I don't know where they're at, but boring. Go I don't think any chores are like boring. They're cause... saying that ironing is number um, one. Okay, well, prove me wrong right there. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be pretty boring. I was hoping you were going to say something. I don't iron. So like, I iron I, every day. Do every you? Day. My pants, because I have a long inseam. And, you know, most pants are like 31. I need a 33. So I iron them to like lengthen really? them, even my jeans. Oh, yeah. I got a whole setup upstairs that actually Julia made because she sells on Poshmark. But huh. yeah, it's a whole setup that I just have to iron my pants. I don't think plus I've I don't like wrinkly ironed. pants. So I've never ironed. I always iron. All my shit Maybe goes in the, the dryer stuff. except for my t shirts. Do you hang it immediately? I don't hang them. I lay them on my bed until they dry with a fan blowing on them. And then I fold them up and put them in the drawer. And they don't wrinkle. I just, you like, when you take it before you lay it out on the bed, you kind of, you know what I mean? Mm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Where you flap it, you know? Yep. And it kind of gets the wrinkles out and then you lay it nice and flat. Oh, okay. And then I just let it air dry like that. So yeah. I leave mine in the dryer until Steve says you have clothes in the dryer <laughs> from two days ago. And you're like, can you turn it on again? Yeah. And then I'm like, fine. So I grab it and then everything's just a wrinkly Wrinkled, mess. Yeah, yeah. So probably why I have to iron. Yeah. That's funny. Number two is cleaning the toilet. That is not boring. That's usually a you know, science project. It's usually interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's usually interesting. I don't remember eating corn. So, and it's one, oh my God, <laughs> always a repeat, always a repeat. So, you know, it's one thing that you like, you know, you clean your own yeah. toilet at home that maybe yeah. you share with someone. Yeah. But can you imagine cleaning the toilet at work? I mean, I've done it. Uh, me too. I've done it plenty of times. Yeah. And I feel like you clean the bowl, but then do you ever get like underneath? Okay, so I've <laughs> asked people, because I used to watch that show. It was, um, what was those two like European ladies that would go and clean the houses? Oh, I don't know. It was in like England or something. I can't remember, but they would go into these nasty houses. Uh, but that's where I learned that you have to wipe underneath the rim. You do. So I've asked people, like, do you wipe under the rim? And they're like, no. And I'm like, do it. You d you have do to. It. There's poop under there. Yeah, you have yeah, to. Yeah. Yeah. So ever since I watched that show, probably when I was like 14. Yep. Get underneath where the water Ugh, comes from. It's where so the nasty. water comes from. Yeah. Yes. Get, get a nice little. Under the rim. You yep. got to get under mm -hmm. the rim. And, and don't the just. You can't just spray it with Clorox and think. That's good enough. No, get up under there with some Clorox wipes and some gloves on your hands. Yep. You will see how much poop is under there. And do you know what else is the screws that hold your seat? Ew. Pop those babies open yes. and do a little spray spray and wipe those down. I made because sure. Because I don't even know how. Yeah, I don't either. How does poop get over there? Stuff gets over there, yeah. And it's like toilet paper leave-ins I find back there. We're just animals. Sick. Animals. It's not me. It ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> You got to get around. You got to get around the floor. You oh, just, yeah. Sick. I made sure the last toilet seat we bought, it was an easy on off. Oh, you just okay. like turn the whole thing. Yeah. And, it and then pops, pops right off. Nice. And then I usually throw that in the tub. Yeah. And I'll wash that in the tub. Yes. And then clean the whole toilet and then put it back together. Do you ever take the tank top off and throw some bleach in there? Or okay. Anything? So we have, you know, our toilet is oh. like power flusher. Yes, that's right. So if you take the tank off, there's not water in there. Oh, okay. It's like a compression okay. thing. So I don't have to worry about that. So mine are, sometimes I put the tablets in there like during the holidays. Like yeah. I probably will. Like yeah. I usually buy them around this time and keep them because we'll have visitors. And so yeah. I just want to keep that bleach flowing through. Yeah. But- then we notice that it kind of runs down our, um, you know, like our handle. The oh. bleach kind of eats away at oh, like okay. the chain or or whatever right, it is, right, and right. then we're replacing in yeah. January the. You know what I really like the is those parts. little those little tabs that you put in. Oh the yeah, bowl. yeah, that's a good because idea too. Because it's like every time you flush, it smells fresh. Then there's a so at one of the stores in Illinois, there's a bathroom that they have. I think they have like a spritz thing yeah. in the air. Yeah. Every single time I use it, yeah. it spritzes yeah. on me, and uh -huh. I can't find it. Yeah. And I, I go into like this, <laughs> just like you hear it go, and then all yeah. of a sudden you just. 
you feel, feel it, it falling on you. I'm like, you I smell like bathroom on spray. <laughs> Ew, in the bathroom, like, I don't know what it is. Whatever kind of air freshener they use in the bathroom in public places mm-hmm. is, like, the worst mm-hmm. always. Yeah, I don't know why. It's not fresh. It's not fresh linen. It's yeah, and not, they say it's supposed to, like, grab the smell and ew. take it down. It doesn't. It just florals it just, the poop. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just, not, like, floral smell or, yeah, I don't know or clean that. smell. I don't Frick know. It smells like so it's So I good. used the bathroom in one of the stores this past week. I was on a trip. Yeah. And I, I walked in and, oh, no, I'm sorry. It was at the airport. It was at the oh, airport. Oh, sick. So I walked in and I was like, oh, my God. And yeah. I was kind of hungry. I'm like, oh, gosh. It was so disgusting. <laughs> it was, I was you just like. You were kind of hungry and you were like. Who was eating meatloaf? <laughs> Smells like meatloaf in I here. I walked in and had to put like my shirt over my nose. I mean, it oh, happens, God. right? People eat yeah. shitty and then that's what's going to happen. So I, I, uh, <laughs> I sat down, did my thing, go to wash my hands, and the woman walks out to wash her hands. I knew she was guilty, right? Yeah. She doesn't even look at me. She was going to yeah. wash her hands and she leaves. Yeah. A little girl and her mom walk in. Oh, no. Right after. Oh, no. And they walk into that stall. Oh, no. The girl didn't and say I'm, anything. And I'm counting to myself like 10 nine, eight. And like, I didn't even get to like seven and a half. And the little girl goes, why does it stink in here? <laughs> real loud. And the mom goes, this is a bathroom. Like just real, like, she's okay. like, girl, your shit stink too. I don't know who you're trying to talk to. <laughs> oh, all right. Top 10. Here we go. Oh, Dusting. Shit. Dusting's boring. I hate dusting. Yeah, you do. I do. Is it pretty dusty by your house? Oh, yeah. So it is by mine because we have the cornfields. So when they cut them down, whew, You know what it dusty. is is we don't live in the city, so we don't have, you know, the radiators. Mm. Mm-hmm. If I ever build a house, it will heat. be radiant heat. Yeah. It will not be forced air yep, heat. Yep, we're all, we're all forced. Yeah. Yep. It's the worst. Mm-hmm. So I don't find it to be boring, but I, it is a chore. It's like, tedious. I just, yes. There's a store director in one of the Illinois stores that wears a duster in his back pocket. Yes. And so he'll go through the candy doo, 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 and he'll go through like the top shelves. He's constantly dusting. It's just, like, I think it's just yeah. a habit. Yeah. I would say it's a nervous habit. Honestly, he just keeps himself busy. Yeah. Like, he'll go past something and doo, 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 he'll hit it with the I duster. I know exactly who that is. Yeah. He puts, it in, he puts it in his back pocket. Uh, changing your sheets. They say that's super boring. Um, That's much needed it's much needed yeah, how often so, do you change your sheets i'm not willing to say okay to so public. i'm every three days <laughs> i have three sets of sheets and i do it probably every three or four days i'm definitely longer because of my that. allergies <laughs> <laughs> although i'm going to admit this if i really don't feel like doing it yeah i'll change the sheets and then i'll take the um the pillowcase covers yeah. and i will turn them inside out and put them oh, back there you on go. <laughs> I mean, I have. If I'm tired, you yeah. know, if I'm just like, oh my God, I just want to sleep on a, a fresher sheet. Yeah, I will just t- throw a new I'll, one down. Yeah, I, d- I know. Yeah. I know. I yeah. just, I just, I just turn them inside out and put them back I mean, on. my sheets are pretty fresh right now because me and Johnny were both sick. So I made sure right. I did the bedding. But you got to think, yeah, that was over a week ago. Do so. you do any <laughs> extra chores when you're sick? Like for me, it's Lysol. Everything, oh, all yeah. the touch handles yeah, yeah, get yeah, Lysol. Yeah. Or if I even, if even someone... Let's just say Julia mentions having a sore throat. Yeah. I, immediately I'm, I'm all the touch. Uh, yeah. Everything. everything. Yeah. Do you do something like that? Yeah. I, excuse me. I definitely like on my like third day of being sick and being stuck in the house. That's when I start like, okay, we've been sweating. I'm going to wash the sheets. Yeah. I'm going to clean all the blankets on the couch and all the pillows and then I'll clean the bathroom for sure. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, the kitchen I do like every day. So that's like not. Yeah. You know, I but I'll make feel sure. like everyone should clean their kitchen, yeah. especially before making food. Yeah. I, oh, I Everything should be cleaned. When we're sick, I definitely, you know, do more intricate. Yes. Like, yes. Make sure I wipe down the handles on the fridge yep. and the doors and all that mm-hmm. stuff. So. Do you use Clorox wipes or are you a spray and rag that you wash? Clorox wipes. Okay. So we're both. We're both. Yeah. I always, I got like, like mad worried when the pandemic first hit Mm. and everybody was buying them up. Yeah. That was one thing I did hoard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was like, I'm buying because you use them so much. I think we we did. We we found a whole bunch of them. I was like, this isn't fair. I use these all the time. Like you you motherfuckers don't even usually care, you know, (laughs) (laughs) in your dirty ass houses. (laughs) All right, so number five is washing the windows. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Don't do it. You know what? Not gonna uh, lie. There's still diesel nose prints on yeah, my front windows. Not gonna I lie. Have Don't not, do it. Have so not we have it. grates in every single oh, window. Oh, yeah. But 
Steve is kind enough once a year to repaint them all white. Yeah. So he takes them off and then oh, can do the windows. Yeah. But that once a year, that's it. That's it. Yeah. We don't have a company that comes you out. You don't have little kids, nor do you have animals. So yours probably stay a little cleaner than you most You know, people's. surprisingly, like we have the French doors in the living room. Yeah. And I'll do those like, like I'll do them before I decorate. Yeah. And they're very dark. Are they? I think it's the dust that lands on the shelf of yeah. each one. Or like the, you know, the ledge. great, yeah, yeah. Or the ledge of each one. And yeah. I, it's pretty surprising, like how dirty they get. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I can see through it. Even though I always just keep them open. Right. Unless someone's on the phone, we'll close them if we're watching a movie. But you hate it. Hate it. I hate it. I think that's probably, that might be my worst one. Like, You know what kills 10, me don't is recommend. like, I think I lost my love of washing windows the year that Johnny said, we had a hole in one of our screens, right? Like our front window screen. Mm. And he's like, hey, I got some screen and I'm going to like replace all the front window ones. And I was like, awesome. So I like washed all the windows and then we have the ones that like you can tip in oh, so you can clean the outside, perfect. put it back and then yeah. do it inside, you know, he replaced all the screens except for the one that had a hole in it. There's still a hole in my screen. That was probably oh. 10 years ago. Oh, darn. Yeah. We have screens that are down. We, I call us like the half, <laughs> half ass house <laughs> and he can do everything, yeah. but we, but because he's busy yeah. with the business. I call Johnny the 75 percenter. Yeah. Yeah, right. I like that. I like that. He gets the job done 75 percent of the way and something comes up or somebody calls. Someone needs help. Yeah. Someone's doing this. Yeah. And then, or he runs out care. of time for the day. Yeah. I don't care. And that's it. If you don't get it's it done in one day, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a hole in my bathroom. It's been there for seven years. <laughs> Every time he, Steve goes to weigh himself, he's like, man, you still got that hole. I'm like, yeah. And I know a guy. Yeah. Like, why are we doing this? I know a guy who does drywall and painting. <laughs> but uh, Weird. Haven't gotten him to get over here yet. <laughs> Guess I don't pay him enough. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the guy works like 12 hour days. I don't think he's going to do any of that. <clears throat> Oh, funny. You know what's funny, though? If I go to start doing it myself, then he'll be like, oh, I got it. Yes. I got it. You know, so maybe yes. I should just start doing that. I, you know what? And I've thought about that. Like, maybe I should just start digging out power tools. And Johnny will be like, <laughs> what the hell's going on? What's going on out here? Well, I just thought I would fix that screen. Oh, I need the drill, right? <laughs> oh, I have a cute story. So this woman on TikTok, of course, we're going to yeah. talk TikTok. Yeah. So I don't know if anybody has seen it. She didn't have, it didn't have many views at the time. So I think she just posted it when I saw it. She is planning to redo the basement for her husband. She's super, super excited. Yes. She um, got to Home Depot and she needed boards. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. And so she was trying, she has a little car Uh and she was trying to put the boards in from the back and tried to close the hatch or latch, whatever hatch is that what it's called. Yep. 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 And the boards broke, like cracked her windshield windshield. because they were too long. Yeah. So then the Home Depot (laughs) team member thought of a great idea. Open up your windows Get in your car and I'm going to put the boards sticking out. So like, you know, so that when you're looking, when you're looking at the car, the boards are sticking out Yeah, and she's crying on TikTok going, and I'm in my driveway and I'm stuck in my car. (laughs) She couldn't get the boards out because she literally couldn't open her doors. Uh, And she was freaking out. What am I going to tell my husband? What am I going to tell my husband? I have to call him and say, help me. Yeah. 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 Everyone's like, say a rock hit it. And she's like, but it's broke from the inside. Inside. Like my husband wouldn't look at that. I'm like, like, surprise is over. Yeah. Oh, surprise is over. You know what? I don't think I finished that video. So how did, did she, how'd she get him out? I, I don't know. No, we don't know. No, in my actually in my head, I thought to myself, just take one at a time, yeah. slide it forward, right. let it drop, slide right. it forward, and then you'll be able to get out. She probably break off her. But mirror she truly too. could not get off of her. <laughs> yeah, she could not get out of her car because he had. I mean, genius idea. Oh, that's so right? funny. But, but he didn't think to say, "Is anybody home to let you out?" Right? They probably didn't. And you know. <laughs> and of course, you don't. As a woman, probably don't want to say yeah, that. No one's home. So I'm doing funny. this as a surprise. You don't that's want anybody so following funny. you home. You know. Ah. <laughs> uh, so uh, number six is cleaning out the fridge. Most boring thing. What do you think? I do it every Wednesday or every Monday night. Yeah. Garbage is on Tuesday. Yeah. It used to be on Wednesday. Ours is Thursday night. Yeah. Garbage is on Friday. Or before we shop, we just go take a look and run the yeah. dates. Yeah. You know what's amazing to me? We do this every Sunday. Yeah. And somehow someone finds something from 2017. Where I are you know. coming from? Where are you coming from? What is that? Uh, we go top Middle, bottom, we're looking, all the doors, and so then someone will be like, man, this is out like from, you know, six years ago. I'm yeah. like, how? We do this every Sunday before we shop. We look through everything. Well, that's, like I said last week, I'm pulling dressings off from 2019 oh, yeah. off the top shelf, you know? That just shows you time flies, right? You think yeah. everything, and then it's like, what? And I have to think about what year it is, too. I'm like, yeah. 
wait, is it still 2021? No, no, no. This says 2021. This needs to go. Yeah. You did that when Drew was here. Yeah. You're like, so we only got a year. He's yeah. like, ah, oh, last time I checked, it was 22. Remember? You're like, oh, it's 24. We got two years. Okay. So yes, I'm terrible. I agree about with the you. Year. Um, cleaning the kitchen kind of goes with, does it go that's with the fridge day. or is that two different chores? Um, I feel like that's two different chores I mean, for us. If anyways. you're going to like clean, clean the yeah. fridge, yeah. like take everything out. Take all the shelves and drawers yeah. out. I don't. Do you follow Emily Mariko? No, I think her name mm-hmm. is. Now that you that said bitch, it, though, like, will. barely has anything in her fridge. First of all, she only shops at farmers markets and like the the Japanese grocery oh, store. Okay, and but she cleans her fridge like at least once a week, and she's never got anything in it. Oh well, that's probably why and she, she keeps preps cleaning it everything. Out. She, yeah, oh. easy for her. She don't have no sauce jars that are from 2017 in there. <laughs> <laughs> she buys to create that night or right. that week, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. I wish we were more like that. I do, too. Especially, like, we talked but, about produce, you know, going kind yeah, of fast. We and... don't live in a place where we can go to the farmer's market every week. Yeah. Summer for us, that's it. So I'm seeing a trend here on this uh, Mad Rock 102.5. Um, so we had cleaning out the fridge, cleaning the kitchen. Now we have doing the dishes. So obviously people yeah. are not happy with chores inside the kitchen, the kitchen area. Probably because we have to do them so often. It, yeah, it's daily. It's basically, daily. Yeah. Right? You know, I do the dishes every night before I go to bed and I wake up to a sink half a full of dishes. Yeah. A bowl, a cup, a it's fork. It's Johnny getting ready for work in the morning. <laughs> Emptying out his lunchbox. He's got to heat up. You know, he always takes a thermos. Oh, sure. So he'll heat up dinner from the night before. Mm. So there's a bowl and a spoon. And then he had a cup of coffee while he was getting ready. So there's a cup. <laughs> then there's probably a Tupperware that he <laughs> emptied the dinner from in there. And then, like, maybe a random ice cream bowl from the night before. <laughs> of course, of course. I'm like, how I just did these dishes before I went to bed. How is the sink full again? <laughs> And then there's my coffee cup, and I'm like, fuck this shit. I'll worry about that later. <laughs> so I don't like if anyone has to do my dishes. So I will use a spoon to, like, stir my creamer and my coffee, yes. and I'll lay this it in the sink. Yes. And I'll go to walk away, and I'm like, ah, just go wash it. You guys are dishwashers. Yeah, we are. Like, I'll see Steve snack on something. Immediately washes he it immediately after. immediately washes it, and you got the dryer, there you is know, the drainer never right there. a no. dish sitting in our sink. The kids, too. You no, guys yeah, train the kids a, to do it's it, It's just too. weird. I don't know. We just... There's always dishes sitting in the rack. Yes. Drying. Yes. And then whoever comes into the kitchen, the, before they even eat anything, they put those dishes yeah. away. It's just a... It's just... It's a habit. Yeah. Like, I don't even know who started it. Who did... Probably Steve. He likes the sinks clean. Yeah. You know, like in the bathrooms, if there's a little bit of like spray water from washing your hands, he will take the towel and wipe it down. Like our sinks are I always wish he clear. Would come to my house because <laughs> Johnny, uh, Johnny yells at me because like I just like kind of like uh-uh with my toothbrush and put it in the cup, and then you get that like white film yeah, in the bottom yeah, yeah, of the yeah. cup. Well, he's like <laughs> pounding with his toothbrush, and there's white dots all along oh, my back. No. Splash all along the sink. Every it's probably behind him on the wall. And I'm like, you know what? I'd rather have it in the cup than on the wall. It's very it's like that's because you don't dry off your toothbrush. Who cares if my toothbrush is wet? It's dry by the time I get home. Right. So have you seen that uh, stuff called pink stuff? Yes. Like it? I've never tried it. So I'm a barkeeper's friend. Or barkeeper, See, is that what it's called? I, barkeeper's yes. friend fan. I've never been a fan of that because it's very abrasive. I like the liquid. Okay. Yeah, I used to use the other one, but then I felt like it was almost like taking off like the caulk around right. the sink and stuff. Right. Um. So I like the liquid. Sometimes even use it in the toilet if there's like a little yes. like you know stain yes. or something. But I found pink stuff. Okay. Not as abrasive. I don't think. I feel like yeah. it's not. Yeah. And seems to work good. Cleans like especially good. on the splashing from toothpaste. Yeah. Which seems to be the worst to get off. It, it is. It just sticks on there. I know. Well, you ever see people that walk into work and then they have like the corners of their mouth yeah. have toothpaste? That's a it just lives. Or you get forever. it on your shirt. Oh, it's forever. You get it on your shirt. You notice it's on your shirt, so you like wipe it off, oh. and you're like, oh, it's gone. And yeah. then an hour later, it's there again. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just an ever living being of, you know what I've always liked though. You brought up barkeeper's friend is I always liked soft scrub. (gasps) Good one. That was one my grandma used. So she passed that on to me. Mm -hmm. Yep. So number nine for uh, boring (laughs) is vacuuming. I don't mind vacuuming. I love it. 
Johnny vacuums. I do it every a day too. Yeah, pretty no, much every day. I don't do it every day. And we don't have pets. You're like your pick a room. You said this weekend your floors are so shiny. I'm like I don't know why. I did. Your I floors do look them. shiny. Yeah. Your hardwood floor looks That's very shiny. My worst chore, my most hated chore, is mopping the floors. Mm. I hate. Mopping yeah, the floors. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm it's probably fan. why my floors are nice and shiny because I never mop them, so I never took the shiny veneer mm. off of them. You know. I remember a couple years ago. So I have hardwood floors. Yeah. I have that real shiny tile, like in the foyer. Yes. You know, it's really, really shiny. Yeah. And I found some stuff that said, you know, it'll shine all this kind of stuff. So I'm mopping. I do like the shiny tile, which I should have known better. You just use Windex on that stuff. Oh. Or yeah, that's okay. it. It's, all right. That's it. That's all you need. Or I was, you know, and I was doing the hardwood floor. And it dried like a film of how Ew. I mopped it. And every once in a while, I feel like I still see, see whatever that stuff did, like on my hardwood floor. So I had to like refinish them with the shining, yeah. whatever it's called, floor shine. What or, do you call that? I have to stuff? do that every yeah. year before the holidays. Yeah. So I make it shiny so you don't see like whatever happened with it. Must have been just too abrasive yeah. or something. So, that but yeah, sucks. love. I love vacuuming. I'll take the attachments. I do all the corners because we have yeah. a lot of spiders here, you know, and they like to hang out in all the different corners. So I'll do. I'll do all three. All three floors, like we have a basement too. Yeah, so. yeah, it's fun. I like it. That is one thing I like. I'm not that into vacuuming. I hate doing stairs. Yeah, hate it. Johnny does them. Hate it. Yeah, it's like one of the few places we have carpet too is on our stairs. Yeah, we Us have too. mostly either tile or hardwood. Yeah, yeah, we have carpeted stairs too. It's a pain. They are a pain. Uh, so this one goes with the first one. I feel like so number one was ironing. Number ten is folding laundry. How you feel about that? Yeah. There's been plenty of times I've pretty much lived out of my baskets. Yeah, I don't recommend. It's mostly like I'll leave my t-shirts or whatever in a basket if I don't feel like folding them and putting them away. Yeah. My socks and underwear. Yeah. Did I ever tell you the story about when I first moved in with Johnny? No. And the TV box no. that he had on the side of his bed? This sounds great, though. <coughs> Hold on, let me get my coughs out. <laughs> So when I first started staying with Johnny, I was like, wow, this guy has like no bath towels. Okay. Mm. Pretty normal for a bachelor, you know? Yeah, so yeah. I like brought over some towels and stuff. Like when I started staying there regularly. Yeah. And I always noticed this box on the side of his bed and it was like a TV box. It was a pretty big box. So after I like moved in and stuff, I was like, I'm going to empty this box and see what's in there. It was... About 60 pairs of socks and underwear. Oh. A shit ton of t-shirts and probably 15 towels. Really? I had to rewash them all because they were so wrinkly. They had been in there for years. Oh. Whenever he did his whites, t-shirts, socks, yeah. underwear, towels, he would never fold them. He would just dump them into that box. Oh, <laughs> funny. Oh, my gosh. I emptied that shit. I organized it all. I threw that box away. I was going to say, did you break down the box? He was like, where's that box? I'm like, in your drawers. <laughs> in your drawers. That's folded. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So never again did we have a box near the bed. Oh, gosh. He's really good about laundry, too. Like, he'll do his oh, own yeah, laundry. Oh, yes, Steve is, too. Yeah. Actually, the kids are, too. Yeah. Probably another thing, like, washing the dishes. Yeah. You just do your laundry. Yeah. Yeah, I think they were young and I was showing them how to do it. It was oh, fun. Oh, God, yeah. It was fun. We you learned know? how to do laundry so young. You want clean clothes and not, you know, look yeah. bummy? Yeah. Do your laundry. Yeah. So, yeah, they're really good. Julia hangs all her stuff, too. She's she's just, she just does everything. I know. She's going to be a good wife. Yeah, she's way too perfect. She's going to be a good wife and mother. <laughs> so, stormmaster.com, I think I'm reading that right. Um, they're saying these are the worst. So, some of these are going to overlap. Okay. So, we'll just quickly mention them and okay. then we'll keep going. So they're saying these are the most hated chores among individuals. So they probably asked, what, 100 people. So number one is cleaning the bathroom and toilet. We already talked about that. Yeah. Cleaning the bathroom is a chore. It's it just the huge. whole thing about yeah. it. It's just dirty. Yeah. And then for retail, too. The bathrooms are just gross. Ew. You know, like I freak out cleaning my own bathroom, who I only use, and maybe yeah. every once in a while someone else in the house. But I remember having to clean, like, at the store too. It's sick. You know, or if someone accidentally had so a mess much poop. or well that and then like even the female bathrooms. Ugh. I feel like we're they're worse. I sometimes. won't say we, we because we're very clean, but yeah, I some, feel like the sometimes. females are just worse because there's just more going on. I don't know. Yeah. People um, are sloppy with their garbage. 
you know. They are, yeah. yes. They're a little bit sloppy with their garbage. Yeah. yeah. Well, they don't care. Someone else will clean it. Right. I don't like that. Right. Like, you know what I just learned, too, what? for what? women? Because we, we have mostly women that listen yeah. and then some great male friends as well that listen. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> I, I learned that all the bags that are for the females, yes. you use one and you throw it out. Okay, I saw a TikTok about that, right? Yeah. And it was a janitor, right? Yeah. And he's yeah. going, no, you're supposed to take one of those bags. There's only ever been one in there. <laughs> I know. There right? hasn't been multiple right? bags in there. Go visit an airport. Tra- you know, bin. Yeah. For f- oh my God. Sick. I still cannot figure out how to open them. So I'm going to, they're longer and gray. Yeah. And they're longer because they fit in the stalls. Yes. And they overlap each other. Yes. So how do you open it? There's no foot You're thing. You're supposed to push down That's on gross. it. That's gross. I'm yes. not. No. No. And because every time stuff is stuck to the yeah. top of that. So guess what? Everything gets flushed. <laughs> oh, and that's why all the signs are there saying yeah. don't do that. Out of order. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, all right, who wants gross, to touch gross. that? Sorry, those that are You know, listening. somebody takes their, I'm going to get real sick here. Someone takes their dirty tampon and yeah. just plops it no. on top of there. No, gross. Nobody's touching that for the rest of the time until somebody Ever. comes and cleans it up. I No. Yeah. Don't be gross. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Wrap it in some paper and shove it down in there. Well, let's move on. Okay. Number three, <laughs> cleaning the stovetop and oven. Oh, my God. You know my stovetop is like the bane of my existence. <laughs> because. Is it a white top? Yes. Okay. Yes. And it's, I could see that. And it's like the one burner that you use. You know, yes. it's the one burner that you use. Yep. And the shit just don't come off. Yep. And then me and Johnny eat frozen pizzas all the time. Oh, okay. And they drip because, you know, it tells you put it right on the rack. So we put it right on the rack. Yeah. And just the other day, I was like, Johnny, what? I like, I was watching TV. I think it was Sunday. Okay. Which we went out for Bestie's birthday on Saturday. I was hung over on Sunday. And Johnny's like cooking something, probably a pizza. I'm like, what the fuck is burning? He's like, nothing's burning. I'm like, <laughs> it's smoky in here. I had to go in there and take, you know, tongs. Yes. There was burning stuff on the bottom oh, of no. the stove. Oh, no. And remember when you guys were over for Hocus Pocus? Yes. There was shit burning on the bottom of my stove, yes, too. Yes, from the pizzas. Yeah. Dang it. I know. I, know. I need a new oven, but I just know it's going to be trash. Oh. We're going to trash it. Do you do self-cleaning? No, what the hell is that? Oh, no. Okay. no. What I did it once for ours because something made a mess after a holiday or after a party. It's like six hours yeah. of gas <laughs> heating up the house. Yeah. I'm like, this whole house is going to blow up. But it was very clean when it was done. What did you do? You sprayed stuff in there? No, I just hit self-clean. And six hours later, it was cleaned. Like, there was not a speck of dust. It couldn't have been that dirty in the first place then. Probably not, but... It, no, it was. We made a mess of it. I think it was like lasagna dripped. And I was like, eh. It was all sticky. I couldn't really get it. So I was like, well, try self-clean. I've never tried self-clean. Hmm, I don't know. I just always take that terribly poisonous oven cleaner. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That, is that shit strong. in there. And like, because I've seen people do it on the internet and they leave it like they do thick. A lot mm. of people will take paper towels and stick it to it and then spray it again so it stays on oh, the instead sides. of dripping down. Yeah. And then, you know, because you can't even see through my yeah. oven window, I've tried cleaning it. I don't know how yeah, many times. Sometimes I've let just... it sit on there for four hours. Yeah. Went in there. It looked a little better, but it's yeah. not sometimes coming Sometimes they off. just get beyond. <laughs> we need self-cleaning microwaves, especially in retail. Yeah. The microwave doesn't bother. You know, we're clean about our microwave. Yeah. We always put a plate on top of stuff. And then people probably, at work don't, no, they don't care. No, no, not at work. Yeah. My food is getting heated up with other people's food yeah, in that microwave. Yeah, I can't. A nice self-cleaning microwave that just yeah. fries everything up, brings yeah. it down. You can pull the plate out, wash it yeah. and put it back in. It would even be would better help. if it was disposable. You just yes. pulled it out and tossed it. Yeah, it's like a yeah. liner around the whole box. Just Nobody steal my million dollar I know, idea. I know, or if you do, just share. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, number eight on this, we kind of skipped a few because they were yeah, the same. Yeah. Grocery shopping and cooking or grocery shopping, then cooking. So how often, I'm terrible. I'm terrible about I this. I know what you're going to say and I, I agree will 100%. Gro- <laughs> I will grocery shop hungry, <laughs> go to the drive-thru yeah. after I just bought $300 yeah. worth of groceries yeah. and yeah. then go home, put it all away and eat my Burger King. Yeah, that's what I do too. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. I can't tell you how many times I've done that. I might like, even go I'm to not- Burger King tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm in the mood for fries. I made dinner tonight and it was delicious and it was a TikTok dinner. 
I made oh. a TikTok dinner last night. Yeah, you didn't like it though, it huh? Not Tell everybody good. about that real quick. So you took chicken and put it in a pan. Then you take a bowl and you take creamy French dressing, a packet of onion dip mix. Yeah, like soup mix. Right. Okay. And a can of whole cranberry sauce. Mm. And you mix that. And I thought it looked really freaking good when she took it out of the oven. Okay, I'm trying right? to picture it. Yeah. It was not good. Now, what was the f- final flavor? It was, it tasted like cranberry and salad dressing. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Makes sense. Because that's what it was. I didn't like it. No. But tonight. Today, okay. It's called butter rice. So I found two different recipes for it. Okay. So you take a cup of rice, you put it in a dish. One of them was a can of French onion soup and a can of beef consomme. Oh. And a stick of butter. Okay. The other one was French onion soup and golden mushroom soup and a stick of butter. Oh. So I did the Hmm. front. No, it was golden mushroom. And beef broth? I don't remember. Anyways, I combined them together. I did French onion and the golden mushroom. I added a little bit of water because I thought it needed it. Yeah, yeah. But I also cut up chicken and put it in there. You cook it 425 for 30 minutes covered and then 30 minutes uncovered. Oh. Very good. Yeah, sounds great. I'm not sure about that first one. Definitely the second one. They were so, they they both look really good. Yeah. You know, the second one, you put a whole stick of butter in also. Yeah. It was, it was good. I think we follow someone that's called, their TikTok's called Yummy and Baked. Oh. Very good stuff. On TikTok. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I think, I think it's Yummy and Baked. Do you see the kind of like pretty good looking guy that always chews on a toothpick and he makes all vegan meals? No, but I will now. And he chops real quick. Now that you said it. Yeah. And he's always like, chewing on his toothpick. Really? I keep meaning to send him to Julia when I see him. Because he makes amazing looking food. Like, I would eat it. Yeah. And it's completely vegan. And then he's always feeding his dogs, like, carrots and stuff. Yeah. And he's just, like, a hot guy with dogs that knows how to cook. Does he cook with his shirt off? Because I'll be interested. Send um, it like, to me, too. Like, he's usually got, like, muscle shirts on. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll send them to you and Julia. No, no. It's, like, so many no, vegetables. No, I cannot watch Oops. food, even if the guy's hot, the girl's hot. I cannot watch that because then I'm hungry and I want to eat. Dude, I was watching a guy. He was all excited because I guess Wendy has, like, Wendy's has four new items. I'm like, Wendy who? Wendy's <laughs> has these, and he's, like, a restaurant person. Like, he'll go around and rate food. And oh. I'm like, I just ate dinner, and I'm watching him eat this, like, chicken parm sandwich, and it looked so good from Wendy's. And I was like, you just ate, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. That's why I can't do it. I You'll never see... The food network on my TV, like in the house. I can't do it. Because then all of a sudden then I want to make, you know, know. 12 dozen cookies or, you know, Julia actually baked um, an amazing pumpkin bread Ooh, and I think banana bread and then some cookies. And then she made some banana ice cream because we had some bananas. Oh my God. Did you see her? I saw her snap of banana ice cream. Oh my God. And she added like chocolate to it. She's just like baking up a storm. I told you she's going to be a good wife and mom. I know. I said, you got to take this like. Out in the world. Yeah. You're doing great. She needs to make a vegan restaurant here. Last one on here. Gutter cleaning. Johnny's job. Yeah. So some may, if you own a house <laughs> or rent a house, you may. Some yeah. may not. You might have like a you know, maintenance yeah. fee you pay for this. Yeah. Uh, we have never. Uh, maybe, well, may, I don't know even. Uh, we have so many trees around here. But there are, you can tell that gutter cleaning sucks. Yeah. Because there are so many different infomercials about like spraying them out or covering the gutters or different kinds of gutters or anything like that. So yeah. We had really crappy gutters on our tenant house and we got like the gutter guard gutters. Yes. You have to with all the trees. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because they didn't want to get up there and clean out. No. And we don't want to get up there and clean it out. So we were like, we're giving you these gutters and hopefully nobody has to clean them out. (laughs) I'm going to end with this chore. I hate and I don't know if I'm going to be the minority here. I hate wrapping gifts. That is probably <laughs> the biggest chore for me. I know that sounds funny. It is. I shop. Is. I love like Christmas yeah. is coming up for us. Yeah. I love the shopping and I love having it sit in my closet knowing that I'm done. And then the thought of having to yeah. wrap yeah. all the gifts. Hate it. I love gift bags. Yeah. I 
Yeah. I don't even know. I just, I don't know if it's the right one. Is it the right color? Is this their favorite color? Do they like purple, pink? Should I just go with Christmas yeah. colors? I, I hate it. Do I add a bow to this? I'm do always, I, yeah. No. I'm always last minute mad dash. What do I have to wrap because it won't fit in a bag? <laughs> I do like bags. But if you're listening and you're a really good wrapper, I will pay you. Ooh. There you go. You could hire Send grandma. Send me a message. There we go. Grandma, she'll be visiting always. soon. She would like wrap them so nice, and she knows how to make bows. Mm -hmm. And she would like tie an ornament on it. So and, I will like, shop and yeah. cookie baking day. Have her yeah. come over, she and I will have everything set up for her. Yeah. She can wrap. I hate it. Yeah, I'm good at it. Yeah, which is a weird thing. Like I, you know, I really? cut it. I cut it. Those. It's like. I just have. Have you seen the TikTok where they say, hi, how, how do you wrap this? And she'll show you. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I can do that. Yeah. Or like the angled yeah. so that your curves are, or not your curve, your curve. You see your curves look good. <laughs> so your like corners look good yeah. and all that. Yeah. Hate yeah. it. I don't know. Maybe we need to have a wrapping party. Uh, I wouldn't do it. Where we all bring our stuff. I'd be like, here you go. <laughs> I'm going to go make plates for everyone to eat. And I'm going to eat or Shall drink eat my enough? high noon. You want another drink? Did yeah. you eat enough? <laughs> Do I need to make more? <laughs> Are we missing any kind of chores that you can yeah. think of that you hate doing? Um, yeah, in retail or at, at the house? I mean, I could think like retail. The thing I hated was going into the meat cut room. Oh, okay. Like what a chore that was but don't to they, clean that. Don't they have the walls and the drains where you can just yeah, spray everything but you down? still like you had to take all the cutting boards off and uh, scrub that's true. those. That's true. Then all the knives and all the utensils you use and, you know, like the grinding machine, they would grind the meat through it. Mm -hmm. you can, I mean, yeah, you can kind of hose that down, but you still got to like get in there and scrub it. You know, that's it. like the deli slicers yes. too. You got to take those apart. Yeah. The I deep think Drew, fryer. Drew shared that, you know, Ew. just mm -hmm. the, deep the deep fryer. Deep fryer. That's a that process. Was, you know, when I waitressed, I hated vacuuming at the end of the night. What a chore. Mm-hmm. And I never understood why the F restaurants have carpet, mm -hmm. especially Red Lobster. Yep. Why? Mm -hmm. It smells like dirty vagina carpet in Gross. Red Lobster. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Same people not doing the right stuff in the bathrooms yeah. at the airport. Yeah. Yeah. Dirty, <laughs> dirty vagina carpet. Oh my god. At Red Lobster. Why yeah. would you have carpet in there? I, I don't know. I haven't been to why Red Lobster any, in probably 20 years. I can't remember. But why does remember. any restaurant have carpet in it? Like, I, that yeah. seems like the most... You can't tell me that carpet's cheaper than wood. I, yeah, I can't even you picture restaurants I mean? with carpet, actually. There used to be so many. I yeah. think they finally caught on to, like, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> let's not do it anymore. Let's throw some linoleum down. I'm or thinking something. maybe it helped with like the echo of people talking. Oh, you maybe. know, it would help keep the volume down mm -hmm. in a room, but mm -hmm. just tell people shut up. <laughs> I, uh, I'm addicted to watching this company that cleans rugs. Yes. They spray. Yes. And they use the, all yes. it makes me do is want to like clean all my rugs. I though. know. You we just, just did that. We just invested in a carpet cleaner. When did you do that? Was that so we've last had, we weekend? had one for 20 years. I got it when I was 19 and <laughs> we had it for like 20 years and it finally broke. It was like abyssal and I loved it because we still have some carpet here and it broke and Steve had to throw it out. So we just bought one at Home Depot and I did everything. It's got the that attachments. It's got, wasn't that last I'll weekend? show you my couch upstairs, not the new one. Oh, Wait till you see how clean. The old one? Yes. The, the white one I'm yes, doing. Yes, the white, yeah. Yeah, because it wasn't really white anymore. It is. But you said, you. you sent me a tick or a TikTok, a Snapchat, and you were like, oh, it's project day. And I said, what are you doing? And you're like, we're building a shoe shelf. <laughs> we're cleaning all the carpets and we're refinishing the wood floors. And I was like, what, what the <laughs> fuck? And we did, except for the shoe shelf. I still need that. I have way too many shoes, but I need a place to put them. So she's like, but I'm not getting rid of the shoes. No, we no, just no, need no, no, no. They're all running shoes. And you guys gave me a gift card. Yeah. To get more shoes. To get more shoes. So you fed me. I mean, the that's addiction. what we, that's what we suggested you buy with it. <laughs> oh, with Hoka across the top of it. <laughs> I mean, can't get anything else. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's funny. Well, thanks, everybody. This was fun. Go do your chores. Yeah, go do your chores. Or maybe you're doing chores while you're listening. I was going to say, maybe you were doing chores while you were listening. <laughs> so you're welcome. We entertained Vacuuming. you for an hour. <laughs> yeah. No, they were just going, thanks for reminding me how much I hate this. <laughs>
<laughs> Everyone's looking around their house or looking around their apartment or the yeah. town home. They're like, oh, shoot. Do I really have to clean now? Let's see what. It'll be Friday when they hear this. So yeah. it'll be like. Friday, Monday. Friday, five Monday are more, busy. Five, five or <gasps> either five or three more sleeps until Turkey oh, Day. Oh, my gosh. Gobble, so gobble. So I love that you always send yeah. how many days are left with yeah. turkeys. Turkeys. And I, yeah. you know, I look and I count one, two, three. To this morning, you sent it to me and Bessie. I did. I was like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. or whatever it was. Eight so, more sleeps. Yeah. Eight more sleeps. Crazy. Yeah. So if you're listening to this Friday morning, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you got five more sleeps. Yeah. If you're listening to a Monday, you only got Monday, three. Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. You better go shopping. Ooh, I hope you got your turkey defrosting. And don't forget, when you're grocery shopping... Every cart looks the same. Don't hang, grab somebody yeah. else's hang cart. Hang on to your cart. Hang on to your cart. Especially if you're uh, someone that leaves your purse in yeah. the cart. Someone else will take it, but yes. not on purpose because yes. all of them look the same. They were like, but I had turkey, green beans, cream of mushroom soup, corn, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, onions, stuffing. <laughs> yeah. No, no one other, no other cart looked like that, right? Times a million, times two a million, million, a billion. Oh, God. People were buying fresh turkeys today. I was like, oh, they must be celebrating early. Okay, I was just going to say that. If you're listening to us Friday, you can yeah. get away with a frozen. Yeah. If you're listening to us Monday, Shit. you better find a fresh turkey, hopefully. Do you know that this lady said, though, she goes, so I can take this home and put it in the freezer and then defrost it next week. No. Why are no. you buying a fresh turkey to if you're going to freeze it? Nope. Leave it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's going to so? hang up. Yes. If the fresh turkeys are hanging in the stores right now. They're good until Thanksgiving. They're good until Thanksgiving. Right? That makes sense. They're all they're all sealed. Yeah. And actually, they're probably better in the store because the, the temperature stays. Yeah. You know, if you put it in a in your fridge outside, yeah. like we have a refrigerator outside and you're opening and closing, grim, yeah. grim water or whatever, you know, then you're, it's heat, it's cold, it's heat. Yeah. Leave it. Leave it. Buy it later. No, don't buy it later. Don't buy, buy it, it later. It won't be there. <laughs> Turkey shortage. And if you can't find a turkey over 13 and you need a really big one, buy two if they allow it. Buy two. It. If they yeah. allow it. Yeah, do two separate transactions. Yep, 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 yep. Is that well, it? Is that's that all it. the advice we that's got? It. That's it. Go do your chores. Next time we talk to you guys, it will be after Thanksgiving. Oh, my gosh. So yeah. have a good Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much, celebrate but it. eat a lot. Eat a lot. Go have Black Friday shopping. Maybe we'll talk about that. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Talk about our deals. Yeah. Sitting on our couches doing Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Amazon has been at my house. Are you almost done? Every single day. I was going to say, are you almost done Christmas yeah. shopping? I think I am done. I'm just waiting for stuff to come in the mail now. Yeah. yeah. Can you talk about the shirt that I got you and Bestie? <coughs> I like them thick. <laughs> I like them sprucey. <laughs> I got you a, a Christmas shirt. <laughs> yes. With trees on it. Yes. Oh, I should have worn that today. And it says, I like them real thick and, and sprucey. sprucey. <laughs> I can't wait to see them on. We'll probably wear that for our craft day, huh? I hope yeah. so. Yeah. All, yeah. Right. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. 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 Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bitch. <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by Nametag Productions, LLC. Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. Drums, written and performed by my son, Stephen. The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all in this together, we might as well make it fun.